It is a lifetime since the Austrian conductor Herbert von Karajan was dubbed the general music director of Europe as he piloted his private jet between engagements in Berlin, Vienna, Salzburg, Milan and London in the 1950s and 60s. That was another world, and no conductor since Karajan's time, thank goodness, has either sat or acquired such a classical music empire. But if, in its much-changed and more devolved musical landscape, Europe does have anything like a general music director today, then there's a case for saying that the job is about to belong to Philippe Jordan. The 42-year-old Swiss, who learned his trade at the feet of his conductor father Armin Jordan in Zurich and then of Daniel Baron Boehm in Berlin, does not conduct much in the UK. That's not because he is an Anglophobe, on the contrary, English was his first language at home and he has conducted at Glyndebourne and with the Philharmonia. The fact that Jordan's name is not nearly as familiar here as it ought to be says more about British insularity than about Jordan's talents. Perhaps significantly, the same unfamiliarity for British audiences also applies to the conductor of his generation to whom Jordan can most obviously be compared, the Russian-born Kirill Petrenko, who is about to succeed Simon Rattle in Berlin. Jordan's last appearance in the UK was a prom with the Gustav Mahler Youth Orchestra in 2016. But Jordan is not primarily a symphony orchestra conductor. First and foremost he is an opera man. Since 2009 he has been music director of the Paris Opera, which he has taken to its highest levels of all-round excellence in many years. And from 2020 he will take over the Vienna State Opera, where even Mahler and Karajan struggled to survive in charge, a post where job security and public backbiting make managing Real Madrid are leading the Conservative Party look like a cakewalk. This week Jordan was at the center of one of European music's most significant first nights of the decade. On Tuesday he conducted Virtus Don Carlos at Paris Opera Bastille, with an exceptional cast including tenor Jonas Kaufmann in the title role and the three outstanding performers of the evening, Sonia Yancheva as Elizabeth, Alina Garanka as Eve Boli and Ludovic Tejer as Posa. Don Carlos at Paris Opera Bastille in its original French, in the city where it had its premiere 150 years ago. Photographic Gotha Poopenny though the radical staging by Krzysztof Warlikowski was booed by the normally cutting-edge Paris audience, this was beyond question a musical event of the highest importance. More than anything that was because to mark the 150th anniversary of the Aubrey's premiere, also in Paris, Jordan was conducting probably the most complete version of the original French-language version of the work ever heard in a major opera house. In doing so, Jordan established more persuasively and idiomatically than ever before that Don Carlos truly is, as he called it in a programme essay, an opera France. Yet this is not Jordan's only major premiere of the year. In July he conducted Wagner's Daumeister singer von Nuremberg at the Bayreuth Festival in a notable new production by Barry Kosky. One of the most striking things about that Meister singer, as it was in this week's Paris Don Carlos, was the fluent but unobtrusive way Jordan's conducting work to enhance the production. There was no sense on either occasion, as there undoubtedly would have been under Karajan, if the conductor doing everything his own predetermined way. Kapellmeister. Philippe Jordan photograph Philippe Gontier J.F. Leclerc Jordan has made a point of describing himself in interviews as a Kapellmeister. In some circles the German designation is seen rather patronizingly, suggesting a workaday competence but little flair. Jordan points out that the more glamorous designation of a conductor as a maestro, routinely used in the U.S. for instance, comes from exactly the same root, a maestro di capella. He argues that good conductors come out of the opera pit and that you learn the job by doing it. He cites greats such as Carl Bohm and Carlos Kleiber as proof of that approach. To his dying day, the composer Richard Strauss always described himself as a capellmeister. When I talked to Jordan in Paris last month, he made it clear that he sees the job of music director as one that extends to the whole of the theatre and to the full span of its work. Not for him a music directorship that is in reality a chief guest conductorship. Jordan works prodigiously hard on the day we met he rehearsed the Paris Orchestra in Debussy's Pella is at Melissade in the morning, the chorus for Don Carlos in the afternoon and took a full stage rehearsal of Mozart's Cosi Fan today in the evening. He has been closely involved in hiring many of the 174 players of whom he is in charge at the Bastille and the older Palais Garnier. It is part of an approach he grew up with, which he has developed in Paris, and which he clearly intends to take to Vienna. Don Carlos is in rep at Paris Opera Bastille until the 11th of November.